using the equal sign. And I wanted to show you this particular case because um, there's another more, little bit more difficult to spot error. Um, this one in particular is when you're trying to assign a variable using the colon equal sign and then you put the percent signs around the variable name. So what happens is that within an expression those percent signs have a special meaning. Um, again the correct way is just simply putting the variable name without anything no quotation marks, no percent signs, but what is going to happen in this particular case if you do this is that um, our hotkey is going to try to retrieve the information that is stored in the variable called eRetreat1 and then it's going to grab that information that it grabbed and it's going to treat it as a variable name from which it's going to try to get the data from. And um, this is called um, using a variables by reference and in this particular case as I mentioned it is not the normal meaning of the percent signs. I'm going to talk about that in the in the video about expressions um, you know to go more deeply and we're gonna see some examples but in general what is going to happen if that particular variable doesn't exist is that AutoHotKey is going to throw an error. It's gonna stop your script um, and it is going to go out of that thread. Um, later on we're gonna see what the threads are and this might be a little bit annoying but the most annoying part is if the variable exists then the, oh, you are going to get a value onto your into your um onto your variable e string e retrieve 2 is going to get a, a, a value but the problem is that it is not the value that you're expecting that you're going to get and that one is a little bit more difficult to spot because um if you're not aware that you're actually calling a variable by reference then you might and be wondering why is my variable calculating this when I am sure uh, that the value is a little bit different. So um, this one is one that you have to keep in mind all the time. And the last one, the last example that I have in here, it is not really an error, but what it is is kind of annoying because um, out of hotkey when you're using the colon equals operand and you're storing strings of text um, and you concatenate them using that particular dot with variables, um, the, the spaces are not going to be added. In here you see that I, that I put the string, I put some spaces and I put the, the variable name and you might think that when you print that it's going to be fine but no, what is going to happen is that you're going to get the string of text and the variable val value completely together and that is going to be a little bit annoying so it is not really an error as I mentioned but um, the way of correcting that, if you encounter this particular case, is simply adding the um, a space within the string that you're using, or using one of the built-in variables that we're going to see later on, um, to generate a space in between anything that you want. So, um, if I print the other way, then you're going to get the normal normal text. This is a string space then, and with that we're going to conclude seeing the errors that we make when we're creating variables. Now some interesting cases, those are some quick examples. They they are very simple. For example, when you're using the colon equal sign, you can ex um, assign some expressions and I just wanted to show that, for example, if you use um, a variable name plus 10, for example, um, what is going to happen is that our hotkey is going to grab the contents of that variable and it is going to make the, that particular mathematical operation which is plus 10 and then it's going to re, uh, uh, store the result into the variable named case 1 in this case. So it is very interesting because um, later on you will see when we enter into more advanced topics how we can use this to create very complicated um, conditions for the if and else statements um, just because of the fact that you can grab um, a variable which as the name says the contents are going to be whatever you want depending on your code and then perform operations on them and then store it onto another variable and you will see how powerful that is. Another thing is that you can concatenate text followed by um, um, variable names as you can see we're using the dot to concatenate um, text and variables and the, the third example is the same as the second one but when you put a, a variable in between some text it is very interesting what you can do with that because then you can in this particular case it says I have 
um, uh, a variable pieces of code then that number that is going to be in between is going to be is going to depend on how your code works on that variable so you can add numbers you can um, subtract numbers and you will see when we enter into the other topics how this might be very useful so in here I'm going to print the results of each of them for example in this case um, the first case has the number 20 because the variable exp1 cxp1 had the number 10 on it so 10 plus 10 is going to be 20 it is very easy to understand the other one is simply um, the text followed by that particular variable and the other one has the variable in between the text and note that I put the spaces um, in the strings as I mentioned before because auto hotkey is not going to add those spaces for you so um, those are very quick examples and in here I want to talk about some relevant information that we need to know um, now you saw what the difference is between strings of text and, and, and expressions and what happens is that some commands they expect a string of text while other commands expect an expression right next to them so for example the message box command it ex is, is expecting some options or a string of text now what you can do is that you can force an expression there where the string of text was expected so if to do that you just put the percent sign you put a space and everything that is after that it is going to be treated as an expression and for that reason I had to enclose those te that particular string of text within quotes you can for example say message box percent sign space and then you put 5 plus 5 and what message box is going to print is obviously not 5 plus 5 but the number 10 and that is something very useful you will see later on when we enter into some commands how this can be used to you know to speed up some of the processes um, in this particular example the sleep command is expecting an expression right next to it and for that reason if you want to refer to a variable which contains a number um, then you just simply put the variable name with without percent signs and this is the thing and this is what I wanted to explain at the beginning when I was say and when I was talking about retrieving the data is that some people get confused okay but some commands I have to put percent signs and some other commands I don't have to put percent signs why is that well it is simple if if um, a command is expecting a string of text right next to it then you need to enclose variables within percent signs unless you force an expression on the other hand if you have a command that is expecting an, a, an expression right next to it then of course you do not need to uh, to enclose the variable name within percent signs very simple very easy to understand some quick examples would be the if command the if statement which is going to execute a specific part of code depending on some condition for example in this case it is checking if that variable contains well, well in this case it is if that variable is true which we will see later on um, and if it is true then that particular line of code is going to get executed or not you know it is very powerful but as you can see it is expecting an um, an expression right next to it and for that reason any variable name that you put right next to it should not be enclosed in percent signs while for example the loop command is expecting some options or uh, which is going to be a string of text and for that reason you have to put the variable name within percent signs so with all of this I'm going to finish this video I hope that I covered the most basic examples of how to work with variables how to set them up and I hope that this clarified some of the misunderstandings and I hope this is helpful in general because um, variables are a very important part of coding so with this uh, I hope that you will be able to understand the next videos because they're gonna depend on this particular topic so thank you for watching the video guys comment and rate subscribe if you like it and we will see each other on the next video